Hey guys, welcome to Digit and today we are live from Edit since Connect 2017 event where uh, the company is showing its uh, 5G Pro S and showing us the first 5G demo. So this is India's first live 5G demonstration and as you can see uh, there is 5.76 gigahertz uh, running on uh, GB, GB per second running on this machine. So uh, the base station is around the back and this whole unit here, the whole, uh, the whole system here is running, is, 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 a, is a mobile modem. So uh, you, you have to imagine this, that this mobile modem will turn into a phone within the next five years and will run this much speed on your phone. So this is all the wiring and the, all the modems that are required to run this unit at the moment. This is the base station and this is the, uh, the relay station. So this is getting a 5.6 gigabit per second. Uh, 5G is not uh, available at the moment and uh, for, for a better use of words, the 5G is not yet defined. It will be uh, going out in 2020 and 5G will come to India maybe in 2021 or something like that. Uh, in, Ericsson is showing off how much speed they can achieve in this early version of the 5G uh, network they are providing. So as you can see, this is the speed we are getting from this mobile base station and this is still mobile. Uh, let's move to this side of the demo. So this is a live demo of a 1080p uh, image taken by this GoPro here, which is going through this encoder. And this is from this uh, display, as you can see, this display or uh, this encoder then pushes this file to the base station, then it goes to there and from there it goes from here. So this is all run on a on a 5 5G band, and 5G band uh, is running on a less than uh, five millisecond or three to five millisecond of delay. So between this screen and this screen, there's a delay of about uh, four or to five seconds. Let's move down to the, another demo uh, where uh, you can see that this small pod which runs on a zero delay. So this is a 5G ready core and this is for uh, implementations like running small robots inside mines or uh, sm running uh, small equipment around the town. So basically running cars uh, uh, on the roads with, uh, with 5G on and you can see uh, connected cars on the roads as well. So this is a uh, this is a Ericsson demo, guys. This this uh, Ericsson demo is being first time held in India. This is a 5G uh, demo, and you can see that this board is connected to these uh, these, connect these connections here. And uh, this is how it works. So the board connects to the grid, and the grid connects to the server, and uh, it gives you a live feed as well as uh, you can control the board live without uh, any uh, you know delays or uh, drops in the the service. As we move on to the next demo, this is the Internet of Skills demo. The so Internet of Skills is something which can be done for, this is something for doctors. So as you can see on the screen here, is uh, is, is it an operating theater? Is an operating theater where uh, the doctors can work upon the patient or the uh, or, or, or some something else like very delicate with the help of a virtual reality which will work in real time uh, and it, it, it is mixed with mixed it, it is then uh, you know uh, doctors can take upon uh, big operations from across the country or across the globe so this is one of the uh, demonstrations of 5g which can happen within the next five to six years and that is something uh, which will come uh, with the evolution of, of, uh, of this 4G network only because this 4G will turn into 5G. So this is the base station which Nixon is showing off here. The, these are the two base stations which one is in TDD, one is FDD and uh, these base stations will allow uh, you know uh, the customers for Ericsson one of them one of the biggest customers in India for Ericsson is uh, Airtel which uh, will allow them to deploy 5G with these base stations. So these base stations are generally cur can currently work on 4G but these base stations can be upgraded when the time required for to 5G and that how the 
Airtel can go to 5G in just a few months. Uh, so that is something which is going on right now. But the thing is, there are base. Uh, th there is some spectrum required for that, and for that, uh, the government will release some spectrums later this year, uh, or, or maybe uh, uh, later down the line, and we will see how this uh, progresses. So these are the these are the big base stations, and these are some the small base stations. Uh, Nokia, uh, Ericsson is showing off here. This is a small base station here. As you can see, this is a small unit. Uh, there's an Ethernet cable at the back, uh, Ethernet jack at the back. So this goes into that and uh, you, it provides, uh, it serves as a, you know, uh, base station for your small uh, data consumption. And uh, this is another radio for uh, the uh, live demo they're using here. So this, these are the backhauling stations, as you can see. The internet speeds here are immense. These are, these are more than one gigabytes per second for the entire room. As you can see, uh, these are running the backhauls for all these stations. So uh, the data is coming through and if the demand is too high, it backhauls to these stations. These are the base stations they are, uh, they, they are announcing today. So these can be uh, used by uh, any service provider, not ju not just Airtel. Uh, any service provider, these uh, the base stations as well. These base stations can be, uh, you know, used by any service provider, and then can be uh, employed uh, in India or wherever, whatever country they want to employ them in. Uh, some of the other things are, uh, as you can see, I'll move to this side of the room, and this is the Gigabit LTE license. So uh, the thing is, uh, Gigabit LTE works on various bands and. Uh, various unlicensed bands can be used to run 5G. So as you can see, this is running on a 948 Mbps. The speed changes because this is running in live. So these are using about one, two, three unlicensed bands here. And the licensed band is running at about 384 Mbps and the rest of the stuff is running at 180, 180 Mbps. Uh, the company says uh, that they can make use of this unlicensed band, something like a five gigahertz, five gigahertz band, uh, which we use for Wi-Fi, to uh, run a 5G as well, and uh, you can uh, also use 80 gigahertz band, uh, which is used by those uh, those uh, backholding servers as well to run uh, 5G. The other thing is uh, the Ericsson is showing here of which is currently employed by uh, the mines in uh, some other part of the uh, world see so they can use a mixed reality uh, and run their uh, trucks their big triggers and everything without even going into the mine so this demo here works with uh, the virtual reality headset and uh, people can and miners can go inside the mine and use uh, this technology to work with the mines the fires uh, without going into the mines, they can uh, work with the mine equipment as well as uh, work with uh, the with the machines as well. So this is something which will be uh, coming to India as well uh, later. Uh, when we are not sure because uh, 5G is still far out. 5G is still uh, missing some uh, key components, and uh, it's still in the progress of. It's still in the process of making, uh, being uh, recognized as a proper entity. So uh, their uh, Ericsson says that uh, they are ready. They are 5G ready because they are. They can produce speeds up to 5.676 gigabits uh, in this uh, room itself. So the speeds are available. But the thing is, uh, the deployment is something. Uh, which is uh, some which we will see once the with Airtel and other service providers come into uh, play. So, guys, this is the first uh, 5G live demo from uh, Ericsson uh, 2017 Connect, and you can see uh, more such videos on our website. For more uh, videos and tech content, go to our website digit.in. Thank you, guys. Thank you for staying. Live.